Coming up, my coral stocking plan for the new tank. So this tank is about three and a half months old and I'm just taking it really slow. I'm taking my time. I really believe that nothing good happens in reef keeping when you move things along too quickly. So I want to take my time. I want to kind of get used to certain things that I'm running on the tank in terms of equipment. You know, I haven't run a calcium reactor in a long time, so I've been running that. I do have some um, coralline algae in the tank, so there is a, uh, a very slight demand for calcium and alkalinity but you know I'm just really trying to dial in my equipment dial in my tank I'm running the lights at a very uh, low intensity just to kind of make sure that I don't have anything uh, pop up in terms of problematic algae but things are going really well you know I've got I got a lot of fish in the tank so I think the um, the biology of the tank is, in, is is really on solid ground there's like 20 fish so next up is is corals and that's really the fun part so Typically when I add in new corals to a reef tank, and this is going to be an SPS dominant reef tank, I like to start with LPS corals because they're, they're hardier than SPS, so I think it's a good way to kind of test the waters, so to speak, to see how the LPS do before adding in SPS. Now the good thing is I have in my 187 gallon tank, I've got a lot of LPS. It's, it is an SPS dominant tank, but I do have a lot of LPS. I've got some great um, hammer corals, some big colonies of hammer corals. I've got a ton of alveopora. So I've got a, a colony of um, an alveopora I could put in this new tank. I could even frag up some alveopora. I've got some zoanthids, although I'm not sure I want to put uh, zoanthids in this tank and have them spread all over the place. So it's good to have the, uh, the options in terms of the LPS. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. I also have some clownfish in my frag tanks that um, I'd like to add to this new tank. So I'll, I'll try to do that in conjunction with adding in some of those uh, LPS in, in the hopes that they'll, they'll host the, uh, the LPS. I do have two pairs, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I did talk about this in the other video about um, my fish stocking plan. My hope is to have two pairs of clownfish, so, so hopefully that'll go well. It is a large enough tank, I think, 225 gallons. And um, yeah, fingers crossed on that front. In terms of SPS, I always like to kind of start with the, uh, the hardier corals. Now I do have this big cupping montipore. It's a beautiful cap in one of my frag tanks, so maybe that's a good coral to put into the new tank. But I also have a lot of um, other corals in my 187 gallon tank that just are growing like weeds. I've got an Oregon tort, I've got a Cali tort, Tyria red dragon, tub stiletto monte. Some of these corals, you know, are not necessarily beginner SPS types of corals, but I have so many frags that I'm not going to really um, lose a lot of sleep if I do lose some of those frags. So, you know, I, I might try some of those first in, in this tank to see how they do. And give that time. I'm just going to give it time, see how they um, progress in the new tank, make adjustments along the way. And, and once I, you know, see that things are kind of hunky-dory with those um, starter frags in terms of the SPS, then I'll start adding in some, some corals that um, I don't have in my tank. So I'll bring in some corals, some more uh, high-end type of uh, SPS. And that's really what I want to do with this Peninsula tank. I want to kind of focus on the high-end stuff and just, uh, you know, have fun with it. Let things grow. That's why I have the open aquascape in this Peninsula tank. I just want to give things a lot of room to uh, spread their wings. And uh, yeah, just kind of take it from there. It's a bit of a journey. Anyway, so that's the plan, and uh, this will be the last video in this series for a few months. I'll come back in a few months and, and give you the progress in terms of how the corals are doing. Well, that will do it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. I'll put links to Marine Depot and Reef Bum in the video description below. See you next time.